Okay, here we've got the OTC 2004 Boba Fett, the Pit of Carcoon version. So this is a re-release of the Saga from 2003 version of Boba Fett. And you can see it's quite a good figure. So being Boba Fett, it looks pretty nice. It's all about the light, but it's December, so... Okay, so you've got Boba Fett there in his Return of the Jedi paint scheme, sort of reddish highlights rather than the bluish grey. And it says at the bottom OTC, these are really nice cards. This one's graded 85. The card gets 90, bubble 85, figure 90. And it's the original trilogy OTC from 2004. And here's the back of the card. You can see Boba Fett there. It says Boba Fett, who is hired by the evil empire, is the most dangerous bounty hunter in the galaxy. He wears a helmet that completely hides his face. Boba Fett carries lots of weapons to capture whoever he is chasing, including a jetpack that fires missiles. He is the skilled pilot with a powerful ship slave one, which is packed with equipment to track down his prey and escape any enemy or any attack. Press down on missile on jetpack for quick draw action. So this figure has a quick draw action which you can just about see there. And you've got other figures in the range, OTC figures from 2004. Really nice retro looking card. So I think out of all the sort of modern cards that are, these OTC cards are my favourite. Without the um, obviously the vintage collection cards are the best, but they 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 are copies of the original. But this has got the best of both worlds. It's a modern figure with a picture in the background, plus it's got the uh, its own unique style, which kind of looks pretty retro anyhow. So there you are, Boba Fett OTC collection. Let's get a better picture. There he is. Okay, here we've got the VOTC Boba Fett from 2004 and it's graded, it's graded 85, card gets 90, Boba 85, figure 90, so very similar to the other Boba Fett I just showed you. Uh, so this is on a retro card, Return of the Jedi, and it's got a excellent Boba Fett figure in the same Return of the Jedi colours figure looks pretty well articulated, has a um, swivel head, full jointed shoulders, elbows, uh, waist I'd say, knees and I'm not sure about the ankles, ankles look fixed but it's still a great figure. So it comes with a really nice rifle as well. So this is Boba Fett from 2004 VOTC Boba Fett with the Asian sticker so it has a little Asian stick up there, Japanese text over the age, and on the back you can see the original Boba Fett from 1983 on the Return of the Jedi card, and then there's the new Japanese sticker on the back. So this one would have been for the Japanese market, and it says the same stuff there, celebrate the legendary, blah blah blah. So here you are, VOTC, Boba Fett. 2004 excellent figure nice costume nice detailing looks the dogs as they say so here you are Boba Fett bounty hunter everyone's favorite character must be everyone's favorite character okay so there we are we've looked at just two looked at two Boba Fett okay here we've got a OTC power not Power of the Force, sorry, uh, Stormtrooper from 2004 and this is quite a hard figure to find out of that range so there's a post OTC version as well but this is the first version that they came out 2004, it's graded 80 overall and it looks pretty cool with the backdrop of the Death Star there comes armed with a long rifle there and I don't know which Stormtrooper version this is, if it's been re-released re before, or released earlier, I should say. And 
the articulation that's pretty good on this figure. I'd guess it's a, it could be the context stormtrooper, or maybe slightly later than that, but it looks pretty good. What comes with the long rifle, as I've already said, knees look like they bend, the arms look, I'm not sure they bend, elbows I mean, but it's a great figure. It looks great on the card and it's graded as I've said the gr exacting grades are card 80, bubble 85, figure 85 and there you are, let's see if I can get a better look of it ok, Stormtrooper Star Wars card has the Imperial logo there and on the back we can see the typical OTC card back with a the picture there the usual well, it says here, Stormtroopers are the army of the evil empire. Well, I'm not going to read the rest because we know all about Stormtroopers. And you've got the other figures there. I've shown you the bubble threat. And that's the back. This is OTC number 16, the Stormtrooper. And let's look at one more look at the front. So there you are, OTC 2004 Stormtrooper. Okay, here we've got the VOTC... Um... 2004 R2-D2 now with extension arm so originally back in the 80s it was the uh, uh, sensor scope but they've changed it here to extending arm extension arm sorry and there's the actual figure very good figure nicely detailed very clean R2-D2 unit and what else can I say about this figure it's on a Return of the Jedi card originally this figure came on the uh, Empire Strikes Back card and you can see that it's an excellent li little droid there. This R2 has been used on many other figures, uh, other versions of R2-D2. And then you've got on the back of the card the usual blurb, celebrate, blah blah blah, plus the original image of the original 80s R2-D2 on the Return of Jedi card, and then other figures available on the cards as well. So here you are, VOTC, R2-D2, with extension arm, excellent figure. Sorry about the lighting. Anyway, so there you go. Okay, here we've got a VOTC 2000. This was actually later, wasn't it? Saga Collection Biker Scout from about 2006, 2007, and it's an excellent figure. So this Biker Scout has been re released re-released many times and is very popular amongst modern action figure collectors as the Biker Scout is a very popular character and it has the George Lucas offer there for 2006 so it's 2006 the Ultimate Galactic Hunt and as you can see the Biker Scout is a superb figure very perfect not really in can could be uh, really um, improved much more probably maybe if it had ball jointed hips just so it could sit astride the bike the scout speeder bike better but apart from that there's not really much in the way of improving this it's on a retro style return of jedi card and so this just looks amazing it's surprising this hasn't been redone for the 2010-2011 collection and there you have the original 1983-84 biker scout on a jedi card kenner us which i have on my channel i have a palatoy version a us version which is the short mask version and a tri logo version and I, i've probably got other versions dashed away as well. I've got the Power of the Jedi version as well. Okay, it's just the usual celebrate and then it has a European sticker there that covers everything. And there, let's have one more look at that figure. Superb figure. And there you go. It's the Biker Scout from 2006 on the Saga Collection card. Looks amazing. Highly recommend this. Uh, prices seem to be dropping on these figures of, of late so maybe now's the time to track them down okay let's look at something bye link
Okay, um, here we've got the Saga collection from 2006, the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. And this is an excellent figure. It ha it's very similar to the, in packaging to the biker scout I've just shown you with the sticker offer there, which is for the Lu uh, George Lucas Stormtrooper offer, which I have that one. I showed that a couple of years ago. Uh, I got that through HMV, that one, because it was still in the sale on, in the UK years later. Um, so here you've got the classic image of Luke Skywalker as he climbs into the X-Wing in A New Hope and it's on a two-striped Star Wars card which are my favourite cards it has the Kenner logo there but you can't pick it out because it's uh, hidden by the Saga collection sign there the figure itself is rather excellent so let's see the detailing on the face is really good the helmet's cool a lightsaber plus a lightsaber hilt and the nice sort of uh, detailing on the X-Wing flight uniform so a really good figure and there you go so like the biker scout pick this one up pretty cheap so now's the time to pick these figures up I've also just ordered or I'm about to get the Luke the smiling Luke as well from the SDCC or SDCC so when I get that I'll post that one but that won't come to a couple of days maybe it's because it's Christmas and the post is a bit delayed but this is a wicked figure highly recommend it um, I've got the original of this figure on the 20 back card plus the Canadian transition which is a really rare figure and here we can see the original figure from 1979 78-79 there you go on a 20 back and 21 back card and then you've got the European sticker at the bottom which hides all the other figures that were available in the, that range I think I've got them all on this on this lot I think there was five of them so there you go Luke X-Wing excellent figure highly recommend it get it alright cheers bye Okay, here we've got the VOTC 2004 Stormtrooper on a Return of the Jedi card. It's in a star case and it looks really good. Let's see if we can pick up the details. Sorry about the lighting, but it's a bit dark, even though it's only about four, almost 4 o'clock now. So, there you can see the Stormtrooper, excellent figure. Lots of detailing there. Notice a little black speck on the chest no big deal and the classic image from the original vintage card Stormtrooper there Return of the Jedi and then if I turn it around you can see the original image there of the um, 1983-84 Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper and then the other figures in the series so I've got now I've got that one I've got that one graded and I've just got that one as well. I haven't got the Chewbacca yet. And there you are. Star Wars, OTC, or VOTC as they we call them these days. And there it is, the Stormtrooper. Excellent figure. Highly recommend this one. Bit pricey, but if you are careful you can find them for around... I got this one for about £7 maximum. So there you are, Stormtrooper, VOTC, excellent figure. Looks wicked on the card, especially in this star case as well.